Hello and welcome to Kush Constrictors. I'm JR and tonight I've got uh, a reveal video, uh, an update or a reveal video on some eggs that we had cut a while back. First, uh, what we're going to start with here um, was a pretty cool pairing. I hit some pretty good odds. Um, pairing was the, uh, the male was an orange dream pie. The female was a Enchi hypo. So we'll go ahead and start right away with the uh, the least to best if you want to come check them out. This right here is what I believe to be a normal. Look at that nice, the nice ringer right there. That's a pretty dope ringer. It's like orange in the back, kind of tan in the front. Real healthy. You know, I've never hatched out an Enchi myself. I don't believe this to be an Enchi. I think it's just a really, really reduced normal. I don't see any eyes in the keyhole, so, and then I do have this really nice, like, red underbelly, but pretty sure it's just a normal. Um, next up, we're going to go to the Orange Dream, and this is uh, an Orange Dream. They just got out of the egg, what was it, yesterday, so they're starting their shed. This is a female Orange Dream. She's a uh, double het for, again, for Hypo and Pied, pretty girl. Probably be keeping her. And uh, that, uh, the normal was also a, uh, a female. Now here we get into a really bright, good looking, Enchi Orange Dream. Look at that reduction from the, the head pied influence. But anyway, Enchi Orange Dream Double Head Hypo Pied. Believe I sexed them all correctly once, but we'll do it again. This is a female. Keeping her. And then we have another really bright, pretty and reduced orange dream Enchi double head hypo piebald. Go ahead and sex this baby here. And this one is, this one is a boy. That's our boy right there. So that's our boy. And then last but not least of the, uh, of the clutch of five, we have our third. Uh, Enchi Orange Dream Double Het Hypopied. I believe. Oh, that's a boy. So it looks like we got a boy there. I'm going to check again just to see. So it looks like we got two boys, which is fine. Somebody might be getting their hands on a male. Oh, no. Oh, yep. Yep. So we have two of these boys. So. Looks like somebody's getting lucky. I will be making one of these available. So anyway, there we go. We have uh, a clutch of five. That's two boys and uh, three girls, everybody. So one of the boys will be available. Stay tuned. So that's that clutch. That's the update on that. Now, for the next clutch here, what we have is a few clutches in one container here. Um... All separate genes and sexes and everything so um, what we're gonna start off with is a clutch that I wasn't able to uh, view I didn't have everything all set up or I wasn't able to record or show you guys so what I'm just gonna show you is the end product um, the pairing was a normal pied piebald female to a banana orange dream calico het pied male um, so what I'll start with out of these two if I don't get tagged we're gonna start off with the big girl here. She's kind of tangled up in some beauties. But here we go, if you wanna come check her out. This is what I know to be for sure calico pied. Definitely a female, healthy girl too. Um, possibly orange dream. I haven't seen an orange dream calico, but if you look down here, if you look at that orange, I don't know if you're picking up on that. That leaves me hopeful. And then uh, also we've got some uh, some nice, nice orange in the tail. So, like I said, I'm not positive that she's uh, Orange Dream Calico, uh, but I know she's definitely Calico Pied, possibly Orange Dream. Then, uh, out of that clutch also, same clutch, he just shed actually an hour ago, um, and we've been having to assist feed him a little bit, and I didn't even tell you, my lovely fiance behind the camera, Emily, that uh, we got this guy to finally shed out. He is Orange Dream Calico Banana 100% head for piebald himself. Really pretty too, look at the colors on him. Look at the nice reduction in pattern and the good oranges, yellows, and the violets in him. 
So he's a he's a good looking boy, and he's already spoken for. Um, now, um, those are the three from that orange dream banana calico het pied to pied female. So those are the three there. Thank God he shed. We took good care of him assisting him. Then here's a snake from a lone egg clutch, the only one to make it. This was my super orange dream banana calico specter I paired to my normal. And I keep my normal girl because she's my first ball python in recent e years at least. And uh, she means a lot to me. So I paired my normal to him and good news. I mean, at least you can still produce stuff like this from normals, you know, and he is a orange dream banana. And then if you look in the reduction of the tail, you can see the calico, not a real heavy influence of calico, but he's definitely orange dream banana calico. He's also spoken for. So those are uh, two clutches from this bin. Now the next pairing I have um, that I paired up was a female cypress to an orange dream piebald. So um, we'll just kind of start on the latter end there with, these are some pretty healthy snakes as well. They've been eating great. All these snakes have been eating great with the one that I had to, with the exception of the one I had to assist a little bit. Here's just a normal 100% het pie, but as you see, real healthy, you know, real, real nice snake. He's a male. He'll be available. Um, then what we have is, I know we got another normal in here. I'll just go ahead and skip that. I suppose you guys already know, know what normals look like. Yeah, here's the other normal here. So we have two normals out of that clutch. Both of them are 100% het for pied. Then we have two OD het pies. One is a male and one is a female. And they're a little different if you'll notice. This one's like, has a lot of little eyes in the keyholes, but then it's super reduced down here, almost like calico. However, it does not have calico. That's just the het pied influence that's kind of reducing the pattern down there. But if you'll notice, he's this is a male as well. He's super busy up in these little keyholes. He's got a lot of them. He's got a real bright orange. Um, now here's a sister, same exact genes, um, but definitely reduced, no, no eyes in the keyholes at all, super reduced. I would almost think that she would have cypress in her. It's really hard to say she doesn't, but at the same time, her head isn't really showing the cypress. Um, so if she is cypress, orange dream, she's super low expression. Um, but I'm just gonna label her and you can look at her for yourself. And I can actually show you a cypress orange dream that I have in here in comparison. So I don't know what's going on with her, but she's super banded, she's super reduced and super pretty. So now, go ahead and get back in there, boy. Here is a cypress orange dream het for pied, her sister. Super pretty as, as you can see. And what I will do in comparison, so like I say, what I was kind of pointing out is just how pretty this single gene orange dream het pied female is. And uh, she will definitely be available on Morph Market after about two or three more meals. Um, now, what we have here, I just jumped right to my jackpot, which is a holdback female. But we have um, a nice, healthy Cypress Orange Dream 100% pied female. Pretty much, uh, pretty, pretty excited about this female. I'm going to hold her back, see what we can do with her. Um, I do have a few of these girls available right here. Um, that I'll be putting on Morph Market soon. Um, and this is just a normal Cypress. As you'll see, she's got the nice um, blocked out body. She's got the uh, solid blocks with the white around them, real black, the blacks are black. And you see the nice dorsal kind of attempt at striping with the little you know, blotches in there. So definitely uh, uh, really nice with Orange Dream with her as well. As you can see, a little bit of a subtle difference there. But the Cypress is still gorgeous. That Cypress Hep Pied Female, gorgeous. Again, I do have two of those that are available. Um, one's pretty much spoken for. I'm supposed to be taking a deposit, but, you know, we'll see what happens on Friday. So, anyway, there we go, you guys. Again, uh, we've got three, how many clutches here? Actually, four with the uh, single age, or the single egg clutch, the lone survivor there. Um, and uh, a few of them will be available. So, there's kind of an update. So thank you guys for uh, for tuning in and checking us out here at Kush Constrictors. Really appreciate it. If you like the video, please hit the notification button so you can check out when I'm putting up some more videos. Um, subscribe, like, share, comment, all that stuff. Uh, until the next video, thank you for checking us out and have a good night.